Squishies. Welcome back to another vlog. This is Dirty Pair OVA Episode 1 Prison Uprising something something something. Um, as always I find these titles very hard to remember. Um, so first off this was this episode was just kind of there. Um, I didn't feel like there was a lot to it. It felt like a very light episode of the TV series. Not light necessarily in tone, uh, but just in terms of heft. It was very by the numbers action movie kind of a thing. Uh, the one thing I found interesting about it was the complete lack of sympathetic characters other than Kay and Yuri themselves. Nobody else, everybody else was either cardboard, you know, like the uh, criminals in the Marines, or an asshole like the Warden. There really wasn't anybody at all interesting. Um, the Warden wasn't an interesting asshole, he was just an asshole. Uh, the rest of the characters were just flat. Um, and so that was kind of, yeah. I mean, I was hoping at the start, um, after they showed the prison uprising and then the, uh, inventor whose stuff wasn't really working, uh, I thought, hey, maybe there'll be a metaphor here I can get into because, you know, in terms of technologies that don't work, that we stubbornly insist on applying anyway, prisons rank pretty high up there. Um, people often don't think of them as technologies, but they are. Uh, they're relatively recent inventions historically. Um, it's really only in the 19th century that prison starts to be a punishment, as opposed to just a place to stick people while you decide how to punish them. Um, that, like, jail and prison kind of diverge in that way, technically. Um, a jail is where you keep somebody for short periods, a prison where you keep them for long periods as a punishment. Um, and it's never worked. Um, people keep insisting on applying it, but there is absolutely zero evidence whatsoever that, uh, the use of prisons has had any impact on crime in either direction. Um, there is evidence that once someone is sent to prison, they become... that once someone is sent to prison for relatively minor offenses, they become more likely to commit major ones on release. Um, but... That's not quite the same thing as saying that having prisons makes our society more violent or more criminal, though there's a case to be made that our society is more violent where the criminal justice system is involved, but then you get into the whole chicken and the egg thing. Um, it's complicated. But it comes down to there's no evidence that it works, but we are absolutely insistent on never, ever, ever trying anything else ever. Um, so I was kind of hoping that there would be some kind of metaphor I could play with there, but there really isn't. The episode never critiques the idea of prison or questions the decision to just kill all the prisoners once they take over the prison. Um the decision to treat them as essentially a military enemy and send in the Marines and kill them all. For some reason, the Warden killing all of them is bad, but the Marines killing all of them is good. Um, that doesn't really get explored that much, except I guess the Marines are killing them for a job and the Warden is killing them for revenge, but that still doesn't seem like it makes that much of a difference. Um, Kay and Yuri kill a few of them in self-defense, uh, but that's just it. It's self-defense, um, or to protect the warden. 
but never, you know, they don't seem to be coming in with the attitude that all the criminals deserve to die, which is probably why they try to stop the warden, but then why don't they try to stop the Marines? Um, I guess, I don't know. It's strange in that way. Uh, it's just kind of treated as a given that the Marines will come, storm the place and kill the prisoners. Um, and that's it then? Again though, if that's the plan, why not just blow up the prison? It seems to be pretty precariously located. So if you're gonna kill all the people in it anyway, isn't it easier and safer and probably cheaper, given the amount of military hardware that got blown up in the first wave, to just lob missiles at the prison until it falls into the sun? Uh, speaking of the sun, Kane Yuri star surfing was pretty cool, I have to admit. I am deeply curious what those surfboards are made of, because whatever it is appeared to be surviving direct contact with a star. Now, what entails contact with a star is a big complicated question because there are layers and layers of varying density and technically, if I remember correctly, the Earth is in the outermost layer. Um, so exactly what comprises touching it, whatever. But the point is, that stuff survived being in that close contact with the hot glowing part of a star. And, and whatever it is, they should probably consider making things other than surfboards out of it. Like ships. Mm. Reminds me of some jokes about uh, Star Trek where people will be, you know, fighting and getting gunned down. This happened a lot in DCS9. They're getting gunned down by like phaser blasts or whatever, but they're hiding behind like barrels and things, which raises the obvious question, if those barrels can survive deadly phaser blasts, why are they not building, like why are they not using that material to make armor? Um, but again, the answer is because the writers came up with a cool scene and don't really want to apply the implications of it. And star surfing is in itself a very cool scene. It's just that it happened in this nothing of an episode. Um, like, there really aren't even any characters in this. There's the one criminal, the rest of the criminals, the Warden, and the Handsome Marine. Like, they don't even get names. Um, they're just kind of there for this, again, kind of a nothing story. Like, it wasn't bad. It wasn't like one of those episodes where I'm like, ugh. Let me complain about this, you know? Um, it just did not seem to be particularly thought out. Um, there weren't, there wasn't much in the way of jokes in it. There wasn't much in the way of stuff to think about provoked by it. Uh, there wasn't much in the way of commentary on society or other media, the way some of the best episodes of the TV series did. It's just kind of some action sequences strung together by an excuse of a plot. I'm really hoping that the rest of the OVAs are more interesting than this one, because this one was kind of eh. Anyway. Um, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed that. 
don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check out my Patreon for early access to vlogs, essays, let's plays, and more, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!